Let me try that again. Why did you? Don't show that one. <laughs> I'm gonna show that one. We go to the stairs that way. Tyler's not ready yet. We're gonna go up onto the Hot Springs now, Mountain Observatory. Oh gosh, you're, now you're ready. Daniel, look up. Yeah, we're going. We're gonna go up there. Are we talking while we walking? We sure can. We're walking up these stairs. It was Neil's idea, and I'm tired, why, why, why? but I forgive you. Ow. Speaking of forgiveness, why do I get so loud? I suffer from voice immodulation, Tina. <laughs> I'm unable to control the pitch or volume of my voice. Let's talk about that. So have you ever been offended before? Like, like legit offended. Like, that hurts me to my core. I don't know if I want to walk away or choke slam you. Have you ever been offended? Sometimes we put up some defenses to protect us from ever getting offended or hurt again. Like the Fortress of Solitude. You know where Superman lives? That's all a front, because he's an alien. You've grown stronger here than I ever could have imagined. Like Marvin the Martian. You may fire when ready, Grizzly. <laughs> The back cave, Fortress of Solitude, nobody knows where it is. We actually do this a lot of times when somebody hurts us. We say, you're never gonna hurt me again. You're never gonna do that again. Now that might work for Bruce Wayne. We're trying to protect ourselves from pain or rejection. Tyler? <laughs> Every YouTuber ever. What we tend to do is we try to protect ourselves from pain or rejection. The truth is, God never meant for this to be our responsibility. We were never supposed to carry that burden. Tell him! Who's, Tell him, who, Neil! Who's, hang on. I feel like I'm in a rap video. Who's, like a really poorly produced, <laughs> cheap rap video. And this is all you got to do. Whose responsibility is it, Tyler? Vanilla Ice's! Brand new season of the Vanilla Ice Project. It's God's responsibility. Vanilla Ice don't know. Proverbs 18.9 says, an offended friend is harder to win back than a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with bars. Neil, can we be honest here for a second? Please, yes. Be real. When we first said offended, did a name or face come to your mind? Like anybody who said or did anything yeah. that you took directly, like yeah, it hit so you. It didn't just hit you like, oh, I heard it. It's like hit you here. Yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to spot areas in our lives where we sin, but sometimes we skip right over areas where we're trapped in unforgiveness. And I know there are, there are people that I need to forgive. And yeah. to be honest with you, I haven't, or I haven't fully forgiven. I'm partially forgiving them. And that's their fault. Uh, that's what I've been saying for years. Yeah. Hebrews 12, 15. It says, watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. It's not just for us. It doesn't just corrupt us. It corrupts everybody who falls to it. When we don't forgive somebody, it paralyzes our ability to live, to love, and to be loved. And we want to pray that you don't get stuck in that place. God, please help us to not let anything take root in our life that will hurt us. We don't want to be bitter towards people. So please forgive us and help us to forgive the people who've hurt us. In Jesus' name, amen. So you're telling me we could have taken the elevator up. He is a poster child for voice of modulation awareness. Here, transition. Straight from my dome to your home.